Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching the last video um, on songwriting and my songwriting process. I had some really encouraging comments and just some useful tips from other people as well who commented back and, and shared some stuff that they find really helpful in their songwriting practice. Um, today I'm in the car, I'm halfway between Carlisle and Newcastle. Um, played an event last night in Carlisle and I'm heading towards Newcastle to play at an event there today and we're doing this thing called the I Hear Your Voice tour which is um, my album and today I thought it'd be really good to talk about some of my personal spiritual practices that I put in place that help me as a worship leader to be able to do what I do and I think personal walk with God is the number one priority for me and that when I have this in place and, and working well I know that all the life of God flows out of that and as a worship leader it's imperative that I have this in place it's where I get my authority from it's where I have authenticity and it's also the biggest joy in my life as well and um, so there's four different things that I try and regularly practice maybe not every day but certainly on a regular basis and one of them I want to talk about today um, there's this kind of saying or, or I don't know myth of that your times with God are, are quiet times and I'm, I'm not so sure whether they always should be I think sometimes they definitely should and that being quiet and still so we can hear God's voice is really important but sometimes these times are, are meant to be um, vibrant maybe loud even um, certainly dynamic um, and God is a God who is excited in us his creation and I'm sure he loves to delight in us when we're quiet and when we're we're noisy as well um, so I love I love and I think it's so important to worship God on your own and, and find a way to do that that will help you engage in sung worship or spoken worship in some way I know that we worship God with our lives um, and that's that's the ultimate but finding places and expression to worship God on your own helps so much when you come into the place of the church gathering together to worship God it if you're practicing that in, in the private place you're able to engage far more easily and quickly in the public place um, so I like to have this kind of saying where I have disturbed times of worship and undisturbed times and what I mean by that is that sometimes you might be driving in the car for example and put a, an album on and you're able to worship along to that and but essentially you can be disturbed at any point someone might sharply break in front of you or cut you up um, and you have to change your focus automatically and, and you do um, but other times it's really important to have time away with God where you're able to close the door of a room um, and focus in on him and be undisturbed as it were um, and I think that's really hard in today's culture I think it's something where um, we can easily spend time with God in the disturbed moments but actually to prioritize special time with him to worship him and to glorify him is 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 harder and harder I think and so some, some things that I do I just will sometimes even draw the curtains in the room so that I'm not distracted what's going on outside or worried what people think about me um, I will often put music on to help me but sometimes I'll use psalms and just um, use a psalm and maybe speak it out and then sing it out or just use my own melody or change some of the words and kind of make it um, relevant to me and where I'm at right in that moment. Um, I also use an old hymn book sometimes just to give different language to praise to God. I think I tend to use the same words over and over again so it's good to find new words of expressing um, love to God and I think what I love about some of these hymns is that they really focus on the cross and they also focus on the future hope that we have of eternity in heaven with him and I think that's incredible and maybe we don't sing about that enough um, in our culture today um, but I also love those times because they give me space to be really free and to express myself fully to God in my own way so um, generally because I'm a musician I don't use a guitar or keys or anything like that I like to get away from the instrument because I lose focus so quickly and then I start focusing on what I'm playing or um, finding this new riff or um, oh yeah these chords could go well this could be a songwriting session um, I really try and make sure that my times with God are not don't turn into songwriting sessions although sometimes they do um, but that the focus is really to worship him and to glorify him and to turn my attention and my gaze onto him so I hope that helps you if you're a worship leader and you're wanting some 
some advice from a guy who's been around a little while. I hope that helps. I'd love to hear what you do in the area of worship and personal devotion. So maybe leave a comment below and I'll continue this um, next session with the next video. Enjoy.